Welcome back. Urocystotomy. Urocystotomy is one of the most common soft tissue surgeries. This is also one of the surgical procedures you will be doing next semester once physical classes can resume. Fingers crossed about that. So let's discuss in detail. Urocystotomy is the surgical opening of the urinary bladder. This is indicated for one, lower urinary tract exploration, removal of cystic and urethral cal calculi, correction of ectopic ureters, removal of bladder masses, and to retrieve a bladder biopsy sample. Because urinary obstruction is a critical condition, preoperative stabilization must be done before any surgery is conducted. Examples of these um, critical um, preoperative management procedures would be fluid, cautious fluid therapy, correction of electrolyte imbalances, and urinary catheterization. Urinary, uh, yes, again, reading assignment, yes, yes. This is um, the chapter when you have a lot of reading assignment because it is very common. You will see it very often when you are in practice. So yes, reading assignment. Um, urinary obstruction is a common condition seen in both dogs and cats. Again, urolithiasis um, is the top most common cause of acute obstruction. Um, in dogs, it is the urolith. Sometimes in cats, it, uh, obstruction can be caused by mucus plugs, crystalline plugs, or the stones itself. Um, other causes in dogs include neoplasia, polyps, scar tissue, strictures, or other functional abnormalities. So, um, read this um, reading assignment for you to know more about urolithiasis, the different kinds of urinary stones, and how they are addressed. Continuing, the dog is positioned on the dorsal recumbency with the hind leg secured laterally. The placement of incision varies in females and male dogs. For females, the incision is made on the caudal abdomen from the umbilicus to the pelvis. However, in male dogs, the prepuce blocks the area directly ventral to the bladder. So to fully access this, the incision is made paraprepucially or beside the prepuce. The prepuce is retracted and secured laterally with a towel clamp. When you make a paraprofusal incision, you will encounter a few structures. One of them is the superficial caudal epigastric vein, as you can see in this image. This vessel can be ligated or cauterized. The perfusal muscle is transected on the middle of the muscle, uh, of the muscle belly. This is actually a part of that muscle. To be able to fully retract the prepuce to the opposite side. You might need to tag this muscle with a small piece of suture so that once you are closing the wound, you would be able to identify it and close it as well.